Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're looking at problem number 7.3. It's um, account from the good book Python. It's the account class problem. And the <laughs> so we're supposed to create a class which um, satisfies all these conditions, basically um, all the conditions in the book. And then, um, and then we have to go through and create the test test file, and then also the um, UML diagram. So this time, what I've done is I've actually put I've already written all the code, but I'm going to actually walk you through it. There's just too much to this problem to try and do this line by line, and it's it's. Um, it's really quite involved, or it's quite a, quite a bit of work. I guess a lot of it's pretty basic, but anyhow, I'm going to talk you through the code and sort of give you an idea of what's going on. Okay, so first off, um, we have to create a class account. So that's what we have. We create the class account, and and we have this. So we initialize. We we define the initializer. With the self, the ID, and they want they want they want the initial value here to be zero. Oops, um, the initial value to be zero for ID, and then balance the initial value to be one hundred, and the annual interest rate to be zero. Okay, and now specifically, it states that the these were supposed to create private data fields named ID, balance, and annual interest rate. And you notice that in this case, I have the underscores here, which indicate that they're private, okay? So these cannot be referenced from outside the, um, the class. Once those values are set, you cannot, um, you cannot uh, reference them. You cannot just, okay, you, ca you can't, Okay, um, so, and then I've set, then we have these what are called assessor methods. Sometimes they're called get methods. There's other names for them, but the assessor methods should just return what the corresponding value is. In particular, here, so when I want the ID, I just return the self dot ID because. If you recall, like I said, you can't reference it from outside. You can't get that information unless you have these get information, these get um, or assessor methods. So, um, so by by placing them here, you can you can get that information outside of it. It just it can't be changed by saying self.id equals something else rather than it is okay um and i'll i'll show you what i mean once we're all done here i, I th i'll show you what i mean i'm sorry i'm i'm uh just sort of losing my place here but um so the the assessor methods are as such and then the mutator methods here the mutator methods allow us to change what might be the current value to a new value. So I have this set ID um, to some ID. So I just set the self dot ID ID to ID. And then I do the same things with both the balance and the interest rates. Okay, so these are what we call the assessor, um, the assessor uh, methods. Okay, so now for the other, now we have a, a few other um, methods here. And in particular, now we have the monthly rate, which is the get monthly interest rate. And now importantly, that this should return what, you know, the, the monthly interest rate, which as the, the author kindly explains, is the annual interest rate. 
divided by 12. So to get, you have to first get the annual interest rate. So in other words, we have to go self.get annual interest rate and then divide that number by 12 using the get annual interest rate that allows us to get the value and then divide by 12. And then we return that value. Okay. Now for the next one, which is the get monthly interest. Now what we just want is the monthly interest rate. So we calculate that. We use the monthly interest rate and we multiply that by the balance. And now, of course, we can't. Um, we first have to get the monthly interest rate, which is the previous um, the previous uh, method, and then we multiply that by the balance, which again is self dot get balance, and that allows us to get the balance. Okay, because remember again that it's a private it's a private um it's private data field so we can't use it we have to actually use the get statement to use it now uh the withdrawal module or the method it require it requires the amount that you're going to withdraw and now what it does is it sets a new balance at the current balance minus the amount you're going to withdraw. So we first to do that we have to we have to get the current balance. So in other words, we have to go set dot get balance to get the balance of what we have, subtract that amount. And now because we want the new the updated balance to be reflected by this change, we use the set balance function or method to replace the old balance. So if you make a withdrawal, then this will update the old balance with the new one. I mean, obviously it would be nice if we excluded this, you know, this um, uh, this little uh, set balance here, because then that your your old balance would still be the same as your new balance and nothing would change. So by including this um, set balance, um, we can we can change the uh, the current balance to reflect that transaction. <sighs> and we do the same thing with the deposit where we grab the current balance which is which we do through the get balance and we add the amount this time and then we replace the old balance with the new balance so we use the uh set balance thing to the set balance module to change the current balance okay and um now to get to look now i have the test Function. I have the test. Um, yeah. So I have the test. Um, the test. Uh, the test um, file here, and let's just run that and see what happens. Okay. And well, this prints out, of course, what I have here. Um, what I've done. Here, let me show you. So. I first um, I first set up this account. I first set up my account with the amounts uh, with the certain I, with the ID of one one of eleven twenty two of twenty thousand dollars, and the annual interest rate was four point five percent. And then I withdrew twenty five hundred dollars. So then I printed that, and that's what this first number is: the seventeen thousand five hundred is the money after the withdrawal and then the twenty twenty thousand five hundred dollars is what i get after i make the deposit okay of three thousand and then finally i printed out 
the information requested by the book, I guess. They, they, they ask for um, a whole string of information where this is the ID right here. Um, this is the current balance. Um, I believe this is the monthly interest rate. And this is the monthly, uh, it should be the monthly interest. So this is the monthly interest and this is the annual interest rate. Okay, and I just wanted to, you know, just to show you here, um, we can't actually reference, so we can't actually, we can't go my account, let me see. Um, uh, my account dot, um, oops. Uh, we can't do, Uh, balance. Let's let's just say uh, what were the. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can't. We aren't allowed, I guess, if you will, to just get the the balance. We we can't we can't get that information. We have to go my account dot get balance. This will actually allow us to get the balance information, whereas we couldn't do it but just using the balance um, because this is a private, like a, I said, a private data field. Okay, so um, this is the code we needed to run, the code we needed to write, but now... Um, we have to actually talk about the UM, UML, okay? And again, this is kind of a bit involved. Okay, so, oops, okay. So we're creating, we were, our, so we created, we created the account class, okay? And now the the data fields, um, we had the private data field of int or id, I'm sorry. Uh, and it it is an integer, okay? And this is the, of course, the ID, account ID, account ID. Um, and then we had the private balance and it is a float and, um, it this is the account balance and the other one and the last one of course was the annual interest rate and these are all private like i said again this is a float and it is of course just the annual <laughs> you know it's kind of stupid to say it's the annual interest rate of account account if i can spell here account okay um so these are the data fields and now to the methods whoops uh let's begin on let's talk about the methods so we have the account the constructor method um with its id uh, equals to zero, and of course it is an int. No boy. Um, we have the balance set to, and this is how it initializes at one hundred dollars. So wow, so your 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 initial balance or um, the balance I guess they start with or assume is a hundred dollars. It of course again is a float, uh, float, um, and then the annual, oops, annual interest uh, rate, uh, which initializes at zero, and it is a float, and this creates, um, 
it, it creates a account um, or it constructs a constructs uh, constructs an account um, object. As you say, creates an account object uh, with the you know with the with the requisite um, da data fields of in balance, um, annual interest rate, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then we have the assessor or the assessor methods, which are get ID, and it returns an int. Of course, this is just um, get balance, and it returns a float. And the other one is get and you will interest eight. And of course it returns a float. And again, these are the um, the assessor um, methods. So they th these just get the information. Okay. Now, next we have the the uh, mutator, the the mutators, which are set ID of ID, which in this case, of course, is an int, and it returns none, none. It just it doesn't return anything. It sets internal values, and we have set uh, balance. And again, this um, takes a balance, and that is a float, which again it returns none. And set, um, and you will interest rate um, of an annual, annual interest, <laughs> fun, fun, interest rate, uh, which again is a float and this returns none. Okay, so these are the mutator methods, uh, which just change the, indic the in indicated values in the um, in the program to the new values which you wish to set. So if you want if you wanted to change your current balance, well, to change the current balance, you set balance of uh, the new balance you want, and then it will change your account balance um, to the uh, current value to that new value. Okay, um, and finally, we have the uh, the other the other methods i guess i don't know exactly what you want to call them but the um the extra methods if you will uh which is get um monthly um interest rate interest rate and again this um this returns a float and it just gets the monthly interest rates, you know, whatever interest rates, um, and then gets uh, monthly uh, interest. And again, this returns a float, and it just gets the monthly interest. In interest, oh boy spell interest um, and then the fun ones which are with withdraw of amounts which of course is a float and this just um, changes and it returns none it just um, changes the or reduces Reduces the account balance or balance. Uh, 
balance by amount, and then certainly deposit of amount, which again is a float, and it returns none, just increases balance by amount. Okay, so, um, and these are the the other, the group of four methods that we sort of created. Um, okay, so that's, you know, like I said, this, this is a long problem, but that's the UML diagram sort of in summary. Um, and the whole, I guess the whole, the whole course or the whole um, topic is sort of, basically writing the the class and going through all the other stuff so thank you very much and have a nice day